What is up, people of YouTube? My name's Arturo, or you can call me Churo, and today, guys, I am back with another video. Today, guys, um, I am bringing you a pickups video, basically. Um, I know it's weird. I haven't uploaded it on, on Sunday in a while, in a long-ass time. Um, and I know I said I really wasn't going to upload unless it was special occasions, like maybe a flea market video or something like that. But this is a special occasion. I I went to Big Loss today, um, had to pick up some stuff, and I went by the toy aisle and saw the Top Pick series, the first ever one. Um, I saw, I th who was I think it was Mike, the wrestling collector, where I saw that he picked up this Seth Rollins at Big Lots, and I was like, oh, shit, are they getting this line? Um, might as well go look and check, and I did. I found this, was hyped that I found this Seth Rollins, really dope. Um, but I'm, I hope Big Loss doesn't do this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. $20. $20. Regular price figure. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm going to say it again. I'm, like, I'm kind of mad, like, um, because Big Lots was great, amazing. They had, um, basically, like, a random skew of Elite Series that they would get. Like, it wouldn't, it was never consistent. Like, they would get Elite 65. Um, I think the only consistent ones were... Did they even get Elite 65? I don't think so. They got Elite 66. They got sometimes Elite 67. I never got Elite 67. Um, Elite, what was it? Elite 50 something. I don't even know. Like, random as fuck. Like, on their, what's called, on the Elite series that they got. Random as hell. Um, so, yeah. and But they would always have them at $10, guys. That was the great thing about Big Lots. They had them half off original price. And then sometimes they would even have sales. Like, after Christmas, they would have a 50% off sale. So, 50% of $10. It was 5 bucks. We would get at least for $5. That, was, that shit was so dope. And then, now, what is this? $20. Like, are you kidding me? I was even mad when... I remember they had the WrestleMania... Was it 35? No. It might have been... It might have been the Wrestle... Yeah, I think it was WrestleMania 35 Elite Figures. And they were fourteen dollars. I was like, "What?" I'm like, "Why they raise them four dollars more?" It wasn't too bad of a difference because it's still cheaper than what we get elites at. But still, I was like, "What the hell? Why aren't they just ten dollars?" Like that's how much they are. That's how much you got. How much Big Lots usually always has them at. And now they have them for twenty dollars. What bullshit is this, guys? What is this? I was kind of actually like genuinely pit, genuinely pissed. Like, I hope Big Lots does not continue this trend of putting their figures at twenty dollars. Because I'm a big fan of Big Lots, and I love getting elites there for $10. And if they do this, then I'm just like, I'm really not going to, like, what's the point? Unless we find series that we don't find in stores anymore and that we need figures of. But this sucks, 20 bucks. I mean, it's not too big of a deal, but, you know, guys, like, what are, what else are we going to do? I don't know. But, yeah, I found the Seth Rollins, really happy about it, because I've been wanting the Seth Rollins. If you guys seen my... Uh, my SummerSlam 2018 Seth Rollins custom, uh, you know, uh, you know that I used this Seth Rollins as a base, and I kind of I don't regret it because I love that figure, um, I love that Thanos figure, but um, I miss this figure a lot. I even recently bought a Seth Rollins Elite 52 Seth Rollins from eBay loose for like ten bucks, and I made it back into this attire. So I have an extra Seth Rollins. I'm gonna keep this one how it is. Um, the other one I'm probably going to use for a custom. I don't know what attire, though. Tonight is SummerSlam, so we're hopefully going to see a new Seth Rollins attire. And if uh, we do, I'm going to hopefully try to make that into Elite if it's not too complicated. But yeah, other than that, guys, let's get straight into this video. Let's go. I'm going to unbox this Seth Rollins. And, I mean, I'm just, what's it called? It's, I, you guys seen Seth Rollins, this figure, a lot before, but I'm just going to show you guys. So yeah, um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna unbox this on camera right here. Cause it's nothing new guys, but I just wanna show you guys since I picked it up. I was like, all right, cool. I wanted to show you guys. Um, you, if you guys see me unbox figures before, you already know I do this. Oop. Like that. So I don't break these little tab things. Get this out. Here we go. Straight out the box. Yeah, this was a really good, uh, what's it called? I don't know why, but the price on this figure went up a lot. Like, he was, like, for a while, I think he still is, like, 30 to $40 mock, which is insane because this figure is a pretty basic figure. It's just all black, 
with the SR logo and the little belt buckle, which is weird. But I don't know. It's just even though it's a basic attire, it's still a really good figure overall. Uh, because maybe because it was one of the best times in Seth Rollins' career in like 2018 when he was, uh, it was Monday Night Rollins and it was pretty cool. He was Intercontinental Champion. Oh, and this was when he was also Tag Team Champion, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, dope figure. Glad I have it again, but nothing special, guys. Like I said, um, just great. This figure came out two years ago, but it's still a rare figure, or now it's gotten rare and expensive, so yeah. But I am gonna keep this. I love this attire, <laughs> yeah, like I said, even though it's just an all black attire. Love it. He comes with the now old IC title. Pretty, um, dope to have another one of these in my collection. I have a shit ton of them though. Um, but yeah, dope to have it since this is not the intercontinental title anymore, which sucks. I like the old design better. I like this design better than the new one. Um, and then the, what's it called? The Monday Night Raw Tag Team Champion, one, or one of them. So yeah, pretty cool. My favorite Rollins head scan of all time is this head scan. This head scan, like, I don't know. It's really great. I love this head scan. Uh, maybe... I don't have any of the, I don't have the new Seth Rollins head scan, which sucks. Um, I would compare it if I did, but maybe because I don't have that figure. A lot of people say that's the best Rollins head scan, but I really love this one. Like, this one just looks amazing. This looks exactly like Seth Rollins to me. Like, it, there's nothing different. If you, Seth Rollins, it's one of the best, like, what's it called? Like, they look exactly alike, guys. One of the best head scans ever, in my opinion, in WWE, like, in WWE Mattel history. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what to say, guys. I really just wanted to bring you guys this video because, um, because I picked it up. It was really dope. Um, really cool that Big Lots got this new line of figure, or got this, got the top picks line. Sucks that they're $20, though, so I probably won't pick up more. Maybe if they go down a little bit more in price and uh, Big Lots keeps getting them, I'll probably pick up another Seth to do customs and the Finn Balor. AJ, not really. Strowman, no. I like the new Strowman. That I want I want to get the new Elite 76 Strowman. So, yeah. But other than that, other than that, that's everything. I just want to bring... Oh, like, fucking bells fell. Yeah, I just want to bring you guys this video. Post something cool. Tomorrow, I'm going to be posting the SummerSlam 2020 review my thoughts and not reactions but my thoughts on it and how i did get on my pred or how i did on my predictions so yeah um that's it for today's video sorry if this was like a bad video i don't know if it was or not uh, just wanted to bring you guys this maybe like practically just inform you to go check your big lots if you're into this line if you want this seth rollins because dope seth rollins so yeah i hope you guys like this video if you did please like it also subscribe because i am bringing more content i am gonna post more consistently like i said oh i wanted to apologize because i did not upload friday it just passed my mind guys like i don't know what i, I like i was just sitting at my desk and i look over to my laptop which i edit on and i was like oh shit i did not post a video it just literally completely passed my like it went over my head guys i'm sorry i forgot but i'm not gonna be doing that hopefully anymore so yeah uh, my bad, but like I said, posting more, please like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.